Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's session on branding one on one. Today, you'll be hearing from Brady and Valentina from Nightthon at the University of Central Florida. Make note about any questions that you might have as we go, and we'll direct you to the Discord channel at the end of the presentation. All right, I'm going to pass it off to Brady and Valentina. Hi, everyone. So I'm Brady. I'm the communications manager for Nightthon 2021. And I'm the Productions Director for Nightline 2021. And today we'll be talking about branding and how to create a cohesive and recognizable brand for your organization. Um, today we'll be going over what a brand is, how to create your brand, how to create a recognizable brand, how to apply your brand, and then how to develop brands for several campaigns. Before we start with the process of creating your brand, the first thing you need to understand is what a brand is. It's helpful to understand it in a marketing and business perspective first. A brand is a name, term, design, symbol, or any other feature that identifies one seller's goods or services from other sellers. For us, a brand would be the same thing. A name, term, design, symbol, or any other feature that identi identifies us from one dance marathon organization to another. Now we can officially start the process to create our brand. Before getting into the specific details of colors and fonts, it's best to start off with setting your brand identity. This is when you establish who you are as an organization and what your mission statement is. To show you a specific example, on this slide we have Nithon's Who We Are and Our Mission Statement. Our Who We Are is we are a dance marathon at the University of Central Florida, better known as Nithon. We are UCF students who set out to inspire our campus and make a difference in our local community. All year long, we raised funds and awareness for Orlando Health Arnold Palmer Hospital for children right in our backyard in downtown Orlando, Florida. We are one generation fighting for the next and we will not stop until every child can cut off their hospital bands. Now moving on to our mission statement, the mission of Nightthon, Dance Marathon at University of Central Florida is to educate and inspire and unite our campus and community to provide ongoing support for Orlando Health on the Palmer Hospital for children, our local Children's Miracle Network Hospital. Through our efforts, we will forever fight for families in which we are so privileged to serve. For the kids, we are. For these statements, specifying your school and your hospital and even your locations helps distinguish you from one Dance Marathon program to the others, and it develops your brand identity. Another tip is creating a slogan. It helps separate you from other programs as well. And then from here, we can create your brand's personality. Your brand's personality is basically the main goal of your organization. Um, and then once you figure out your main goal of your organization, that will then help you create your tone and voice that your organization holds. The voice and tone of your brand will then come into play when we're creating brand colors and fonts. Um, Another thing about your brand is your brand themes. You have to think about what theme your organization holds when it's holding events, social media posts, graphics, flyers, your main event, and so much more. As a whole, think about the themes you want your brand to hold. So let's talk branding guides. Branding guide is basically your best friend when it comes to creating any type of content that your organization will put out. It holds all the key information about your brand, including your brand identity, your personality, your organization's main goal, and the voice and tone you want, your, you want to portray through your content. The branding guide also includes the fonts and colors your organization uses for media and graphics. So a few tips for your branding guide is to always follow the um, guidelines outlined. Actively use the branding guide with any kind of content you put out, and then make sure all your content follows that branding. A branding guide could include um, how to apply your brand, all the logos that is um, approved for your brand, are your colors, fonts, and the terminolo terminology from your hospital and your organization itself. So now let's create a recognizable brand. Before thinking about colors and fonts for your brand, look back at your organization's voice and tone, brand personality and theme, and then visualize that. Think about what the voice and personality of your brand would look like in fonts and colors. Is your brand modern and youthful, inspiring, personable? And I think what that would look like. For colors, think about what colors would strengthen and solidify your brand. As in, what colors would help your brand stand out on anyone's social media page or through any type, of, through any way they're seeing those, the media. 
choose colors that relate to your brand's personality and themes. So for example, we want to reach our UCF and Orlando community. So our brand's colors match those of UCS, which is black and gold. And then similar to colors, you have to think about your um, brand's personality and themes for fonts. It's always good to have a variety in font styles to help make graphics, social media posts, and flyers stand out. For example, our primary fonts include a sans serif block font and a script font. So we use our um, sans serif block font, Siphon for headings, and then our script font, Lemon Tuesday for subheadings. And then body fonts are used for long text like emails, messaging, or paragraphs within a social media post or graphic. So now we can move on to how to apply your brand through different mediums. Aside from choosing different colors and fonts for your brand, figuring out how to lay your brand through different mediums is very crucial. We'll be going into more depth of how you should communicate through social media, photography and video, and writing. A side note that it's important and crucial to follow your hospital's brand and being aware of their guide. You'll, you'll find that sometimes your guide and their guide will overlap. Here on this slide, we have some more in-depth examples of how to apply your brand. I'll first be going over some, I'll be going over some points listed that we have listed here. First off, we have the best practices for social media. Having an online etiquette is one, of the, one thing that you'd always make sure to have. This entails proper grammar and spelling. You wanna make sure social, me social media is social. This means having consistent, responsive, and personal media presence. We want our followers and participants to have a connection with our organization and responding back to them gives them that, that connection. Things to avoid are arguments and one dimensional graphics with just words on them. This again goes back to making our Instagram feel more personal for the audience. Seeing a friendly face or even people that they know gives them that emotional connection that we are trying to achieve. Having a photo of a participant or a miracle child brings a lot more emotion compared to a dull graphic with just words on it. Now I'll be moving on to applying your brand through photography and video. It entails how we set up photos and how we edit them. Photos and videos play a large part in our brand. Specifically for Nython, we believe that having a bright and energetic feeling to our media helps reinforce our family-friendly brand, as well as capturing moments of action and emotion instead of post-formal photos. One of my responsibilities as the production director is taking photos and videos of our social, for our social media. I always try to capture the most fun, candid photos to accentuate our fun, exciting brand. One thing we suggest is to stray away from cluttered visuals, with, which should have which could affect the cohesiveness of your brand. And another thing that I just thought about is when you're also making videos, you want to make sure that your fonts and your colors also like have a cohesive look with your photos as well. And lastly, applying your brand through writing. This means focusing on how you write for Instagram captions, Facebook posts, and even regular emails sent out to families and participants. First thing you need to consider is your target audience. Pay attention to your demographics. You need to establish a way to communicate with your audience in order to catch and hold their interest and attention. Another very important point, important bullet point we have here is that clarity is key. Simple wording can go a very long way. Using big and confusing words can inhibit our participants from understanding something that could be very important to them. You want your writing to be professional in terms of grammar, but keeping it conversational helps it make, make it personal and easier to connect with your participants. And one thing to know is that good writing is a great way to build relationships. Now let's talk about how to develop brands for indiv individual campaigns and pushes. So when creating separate branding for different campaigns, it may be smart to make the brand different from your overall branding to help campaign the campaign stand out from your general posts and content. So that would be using different colors and fonts that work hand in hand with the theme of your campaign. For example, our Push Day Champions Challenge focuses on our hospital's champions, which this past year, our hospital's champions were Patrick and William. And Patrick and William both love Orlando City Soccer Club. So for this campaign, we thought that it would fit best for the colors of the campaign to be purple and gold, which are Orlando City's colors. Um, and then using new fonts, colors, and even a logo for a campaign will help differentiate the campaign from the rest of your social media posts even more. So don't be afraid to stray away from your overall branding, colors, and fonts, because there are many other ways to implement your overall branding within your campaign. Um, so depending on the campaign, overall branding fonts and colors could fit into the campaign's brand. 
For example, for our campaign, Believe in Tomorrow, we use one of our branding colors, Lemon Tuesday, as one of our fonts in the campaign, as well as the yellows, yellow we use. Other types of overall branding that could be implemented into campaigns to keep it cohesive with the rest of the content you put out is um, the photos and videos you post throughout that push day, or even your wording with captions. Lastly, we want to provide you guys with some ways your brand can impact your program success if the campus is virtual because of COVID impact. And by the looks of it, it's probably best to start planning ahead. Obviously, we have to focus on social media, so posting interactive is very important. We might not be able to see participants showing their support for Dance Marathon in person, but we can definitely increase it on social media. Some ways to do this is by posting some fun polls, questions, or questions on Instagram stories, Instagram lives of Q and A's with the Miracle Families or Trivia Nights can also bring some attraction. With these ideas, it's important to follow your branding guide that you have now established to keep the overall cohesiveness of your brand. Awesome. Thank you again for sharing uh, Brady and Valentina. If you have any questions from today's session, please direct them in the Q&A section on Discord. This session was a part of building a movement. Theme group, thanks again for joining us.